This is AS Pure Maths Notes. We're on Unit 8 Trigonometry and we're doing some trig equations. Um, so this one here we have solve cos 2x equals 0 0.6 between 0 and 360. This is the first of this type. So this 2x here is important and because of the fact that it's 2x it means we need to go around twice to get all our, our solutions in. Uh, so we might want to first of all let y equal 2x. And if we let y equal 2x, then the range we solve for y is actually between 0 and 720. That gets us to go around twice. So we have cos y is not 0.6, and we find then our basic angle. Basic angle is obviously y is cos to the minus 1, not 0.6. And y then is 53.13 degrees. We want where cos is positive, therefore we want the first and fourth quadrants. Um, so let's draw our diagram here and let's see what we're going to have. So zero. 90, 180, 270, 360 and the two that I want here are when cos is positive so it's going to be here and here they're supposed to be symmetrical excuse me for the dodgy diagram Uh, and we also then, I guess, need to go around again, so as well as 90, it's going to be then kind of 450, 540, 630, and 720. So my possible values then for y are going to be 53.13 degrees. So that's that one. My next one goes all the way around then to there. So that's going to be 360. Take away 53.13. So if we do 360 take away 53.13, we get 306.87 degrees. We then need to go, this ends up being a bit messy to draw, all the way around then to here. So that's going to be 360 plus 53.13. So that's 413.13. And then the final one is all the way around twice onto there. So it's effectively 720 take away 53.13. Uh, if you do that you get 666.87 degrees. Because we have gone around twice then that covers all our solutions because remember we have asked to work out x and to work out x then we've got to divide by 2. So 2x equals all those therefore x is each of those then divided by 2. So we're going to get 26.6 degrees. We're then going to get 153 degrees. Remember, divide this one by 2. Divide this one by 2, we get 207 degrees. And dividing this one by 2, we get 333 degrees. Those are all given down to three significant figures.